All right, everybody, we're just going to do a new uh, launcher review for you today. Um, this is actually on my Galaxy Nexus, and this is a new launcher. It's called Hax Launcher. Um, so let me just kind of show you some of the stuff on here. Here's your normal screens here. Um, what's really different about this launcher is these icons down here on the bottom. Okay, uh, This is your app drawer in a form. It's a little different also. But these icons are your five most recent icons, and you can actually also swipe to get rid of get rid of them. But it, it it'll show um, your five most recent icons right there. See, I, I can actually erase all these here. I'll show you. So we're gonna erase them all. So there's nothing in there. So you go in here, and this is your now your new app kind of interface here. Um, you can have icons right here, which I can also swipe away. But I can pick which ones I want right there. So let me just show you how I do that. You actually go to um, All Apps, which is now your app drawer. And I want to add my Quick Office back in there. So you hold it down, you throw it on your screen. And then you hold it down and you actually throw it down here in the bottom. Now, yeah, there it is when you go there. So you have those options, or you can pick an icon, you know, and throw it on your your normal desktop right there. You got widgets and things like that. So now, if I say I open a phone, I exit back out of it. Now you can see I have some populated most recent widgets again, or icons, I should say, applications. So I really kind of like it for the most recent applications kind of down there all the time repopulating for you. I think that's probably the neatest thing about it. So you can go camera and then you can go back out of it and now see camera is your most recent uh, application. So that's pretty neat. Um, so here again you have things you can add here by dragging them down to your bar down there. Um, so those always stay up here until you swipe them away. Uh, and then you got search, which just goes to Google search up here, and you can start typing. Um, so you got that. You got settings. So let's kind of get into settings. In settings here, we have some toggles built into it. Also, it's kind of weird. You can actually scroll the the home screen in this setting, which is kind of funky. But uh, right here, you got some widgets um, that you can scroll right there. You can go to system settings. By hitting that one and system settings or you can go to launcher settings now this is hacks launcher settings here um, so you can pick your default launcher right there in case you don't want to use hacks you want to use something else you have some live panels and this one I downloaded it's a weather panel you can actually put in here um, home screen stuff persistent search bar if you want it or not uh, let's see what else we got here some shades on your menu, some other things right there. Um, drawer, drawer dock. See, this thing is actually a beta, so it uh, doesn't have all of its stuff yet. Like these three icons don't actually do anything yet. He's going to be putting features in there, but he hasn't yet. Uh, the developer that is. Also, I've able to root permission in advance there, and then there's some push notification settings also. So we're going to exit back out of that and you're back into the application here now I don't know if you've noticed this I'm gonna show you a couple bugs with this thing that's kind of frustrating to me I just lost all those icons I had on my home screen I don't know why it's doing this but it's kind of frustrating he does have some bugs to work out on it also the other bug I'm gonna show you that is also kind of annoying is right here Let's see what we're gonna take for share and we're going to take another one just for the sake and we're going to take this one my RC channel and we're going to put them together which should be a folder now and as you can see actually it's hard to see but there's actually still a folder there but if I click on it it, it kind of kind of freezes and goes away so um, that's kind of one of their other little glitches in there is that that folder kind of jacks things up on here so um, I'm going to reset some stuff, but that's, that's the only real problem I've seen is their folders kind of freezes everything up. But um, besides the folders freezing everything and not working, 
and the icons is appearing at times on this screen it, it, it's kind of frustrating um, but the features I like and the ones I wanted to really show you is the way this app drawer works and the way your five icons are down here I mean you still have this button and you can go to most recent this way if you want to do that um, I just like how they're listed down there for you um, and like I said you can swipe them away too so there you go guys that is uh, Hacks Launcher um, it's my little review of it and this is the coolest features in here settings and stuff like that these toggles and things uh, I know this isn't available for all Android devices I think it only maybe supports like jelly bean maybe ice cream sandwich I'm not sure you have to look in your market and see if it's even available for you but um, like I said check it out keep following this guy I like to put this on here that way I can see if he has any updates when he has updates I will uh, play with it again and see if we got you know he's fixed some of these uh, app problems on your desktop like I say he's got widgets working widgets haven't had a problem with them he did they weren't working first but he's fixed it so he is doing development on it so just keep watching it and keep an eye on it I think this is going to be a real neat launcher once he gets it fully functional so thanks for checking this out guys and check my uh, my uh, YouTube channel I've got lots and lots of launcher review videos in there I got a playlist full of them uh, so go check those out, and please give me a thumbs up if you liked the video, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks.